Hi viewer, my name's Don. Thanks for joining me on a visit to Miss Helen's work in Owl House, New Bethesda, South Africa. Our friend Neville Cohen recommended the site. We left Johannesburg and spent the night at the Garrup Dam near Middlesburg. From there we pushed on the next day to New Bethesda and on to Graf Rennet. The scenery on the main highway was stunning and got more and more desolate and rocky. A small gravel road led from the main highway to New Bethesda and the scenery was even more stunning with unusual rock formations. This village has 1,000 people, but over 13,000 people have come as tourists to look at Owl House. Miss Helen was born in 1897 and grew up in this house. She left for her education and returned in the 1930s, where she lived a mainly single life by herself and grew more and more isolated in her later life. By the late 1950s, with the help of hired workmen, but mainly this man, she gradually transformed her surroundings by getting into works of art, of which the owl was central. She ground covered glass in a coffee grinder and stored them in these jars to use in her paintings. The covers can be seen here in these interior shots of this little worker's cottage. Her backyard was very large and she became extremely passionate in her work, creating the creatures that you are about to see. However, she seemed very frightened to leave the house or to be seen by the local villagers. By 1976, with failing eyesight and arthritis, at the age of 78, 
she swallowed caustic soda and died. Her house has been preserved as a museum. Thank you, viewer, for coming with me for this quick tour of Bawo House in South Africa.